This short video demonstrates the essentials of server-side validation and form stickiness. Stickiness refers to displaying values in a form that were previously entered that were considered valid. Invalid values are not shown. To recap this video, I am using native HTML5 validation techniques in the form itself. However, I am using the no validate bookmarklet to disable the native client side validation. It is important to remember that client side validation of any kind can be disabled. As a result, on the server side, I have duplicated my validation in several ways. When collecting data from the browser, I am filtering it and sanitizing the incoming data to remove HTML tag markup. Two, I have created two custom functions to validate an email address and to check the password to meet my requirements. Three, I am then checking the variables that they have values which are valid. If not, an error message is set and the web view is included into the scope of the controller. If an error is returned, the form's PHP code checks if the variable exists with a value and displays it using the input's value attribute. A note about security. Never re-enter a password into the form. Make the visitor enter the password every time. When I submit the form, after clicking the No Validate tool, the client-side checks are ignored and the data is sent to the controller where my server-side checks take place. I know that the password field is plain text and should not be. I am doing this so you can see that my password does not meet the requirements for this testing. If data is valid, but not all inputs are valid, the form is returned and valid data is displayed in the form while invalid inputs are blank. When all inputs are valid, the submission is successful. 